Hello everybody. This past week, Canada has made some major announcements of big changes in tourist visa and the student visa. So in this video, we're going to talk in depth about these two big announcements. If even after what's happening, you still have plans to come to Canada as an international student, this announcement will be a big blow to you. And also, let's say you're living in Canada as a permanent resident or maybe you're a citizen but you want to apply the tourist visa for your family members or friends or relatives. Unfortunately, in another announcement this past week, Canada has announced some big changes to the tourist visas as well. We will try to keep this video very short and crisp. So talking about the first point, which is the changes in the tourist visa. So until now, if anybody would apply a Canadian tourist visa, then they would get a 10 year visa. Now this visa, which could be of 10 year, used to be multiple entry. The big changes that they've announced is that there won't be a 10 year default visa that would be provided, which means that the expiry of the visa could be one week, one year, five years. It would be completely on the discretion of the visa officer. So maybe many of you would have applied Schengen visa to travel to Europe and there they do follow similar rules. So maybe if you announce that you'd be traveling to Canada from December 1st to December 31st, maybe your visa could expire on 1st of January. So in that case, you would need to leave Canada on or before 1st of January. Earlier, we used to apply the visit visas, assuming that the visa would be of 10 year, but now it could be one month, one year, five years, or even 10 year. The other change is that it could be a single entry visa as well. So until now, as I told you, we used to get the 10 year multiple entry visa, but now going forward, it could be a single entry, one week visa that could be provided to you. So if you are applying for a visa for your parents or family members, maybe it would be a good option now to suggest that yes, my family members would want to come again next year, or maybe they would want to come every year so that after analyzing your application, they could provide you a multiple entry visa and that too for at least a few years, not just a single entry visa, that too for a few weeks or months. Now the another announcement, which is for the international students. In a big blow, Canada has announced that they have ended the student direct stream, which was called as SDS stream. They have ended it effective 8th of November. Now SDS program was launched a few years ago you can think of it as an expedited student visa program, which was for the nationals of particular countries. For example, India, China, Pakistan, Philippines, and few other countries as well. Usually, before taking such a big step, they would announce it in advance, at least few months in advance, but this time it was right on that day. Effective 8th of November, now you cannot apply for the SDS program. The reason that they have provided is that they want to provide equal opportunities to students from around the world, but we all know what it is. Most of the international students were actually coming from India because of the anti-immigration sentiment in Canada. The elections are next year. There's definitely some anger and frustration in the Canadian voters about immigration and especially international students. So they have taken this big step to end the SDS stream. Now you can still apply the student visa, but that would be through the regular study visa program. That would not be through SDS program. SDS was quite an expedited process. You can think of it as the express entry for international students. And usually you would get the student visa approved in two to three weeks time, but now it could easily take up two to three months. Now, what would be the impacts of the ending this SDS stream? Of course, the very first obvious impact would be the processing times. You could still get your visas approved. Earlier, they used to take two to three weeks. Now, it could be two to four months. The second big impact would be the increase in rejection rates. Now, the officers would get a lot of time. They would have tighter scrutiny for all the visa applications and the visa rejection rates would be much more higher. So they're definitely making it very difficult for the international students, all those who are already in Canada and also for those who want to come to Canada in the next few years. Honestly, if I was thinking of moving to Canada as an international student, as of today, I would drop my plan. So that's it for this video. As I promised, it would be short and crisp. 
If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. What do you feel about these two announcements? Please let me know in the comment section below. You know what else you can put in the comment section? If you have any feedback or suggestions for me, also if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. See you in the next one.